Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube land. How are you this fine, fine morning? It's Saturday. It is approximately 9.30 in the morning. And I am dedicating this day to dumpster diving. I'm going to take some time and I'm going to go see how many dumpsters we can hit. I'm going to try to keep track of how many we hit. Uh, even though I won't show them all because I'm sure there'll be a lot of empties. But that being said, uh, let's go dumpster diving. Let's go see what we can find. Out of here. The wall case. Empty, of course. Nope. There you go, scrap and pallet guy. You need to swing over here. Holy cow. This one's full. That's gonna be good though. There's some uh, tin down there, but I'm not going to dig it up. Leave all that wood and stuff. It's not going to be worth it. It's not enough money in tin right now. wooden spools over there. Need to check if anybody's paying any money for those. Highly doubt it though. Looking kids' desk. That's a neat looking bird feeder there. What do you think of that? That's a cute little bird nest thing, white birch. Yeah, I could sell that. Sweet. First score of the day, folks. There's some of those Clairol Custom Care something or others like, uh, oh, hold on, there's a football helmet in there too. See that? It's a Rawling. Come back. Those were right L. You know, I don't know if that has any value or not. But, heck, might as well check it out, right? Check it out and see. Well, it's got a cord in it, right? Or at least that's something. Custom care set. And so that's been in somebody's hair, so I don't think anybody's going to want that. But, I do want the cord. So I'm gonna get my snips and cut the cord. All right, so I got the cord off of that. Let's see what's in here. Pretty much cardboard.
Red Bull anyone? Oh God. God. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> scared the hell out of me. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, are you picking? Me, uh, me too, but I'm just, uh, I just film it. You know what I mean? I have, I have a YouTube channel, so I film this. That's awesome. You have any luck? I uh, found two Garmin navigation cords and the suction cup, but I didn't find the Garmin. Oh, really? That's why I'm still in here. It's like, <laughs> I know that Garmin's got to be in here somewhere. That's awesome, man. Well, hey, I'm Shane. Nice to meet you. Josh. <laughs> Fellow picker. <laughs> that was the first that I ever found a person inside a dumpster. <laughs> we scared each other. His name is Josh. He's a picker. He's a... He's looking for hardware and stuff like that. He said he found two cords to uh, Garmin's, but he haven't found the Garmin's yet. So, anyway, he was in there picking around. Uh, more power to him. So, <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in a dumpster. Maybe even a person. <laughs> this business here is a bath fitting business. So, they put, you know, they cover up your existing bathtubs and stuff. So, highly doubt if there's any metal or anything of value in this big boy. Doesn't look like it. company here they do like landscaping and fertilizing so yeah no so I just left that commercial uh, area over there where all the dumpsters were and as I was leaving there was two guys in a pickup truck coming or that were stopping at other dumpsters so that's two that's two pickers that I found today doing this on a Saturday morning in this area so this must be a pretty hot area to go hitting on Saturday mornings but Kind of interesting, you just never know what you're going to run into. Tell you what, there's money in the cardboard. You do all right. Tile installation place of some sort. I get shocked every time I touch these damn things. There's the metal. I'll be grabbing that. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get my pick and stick out. Nope, I got it. I got it. Nice heavy piece of metal there, boy. Put that in the back, I think. So, yeah, that's a good find. Nice heavy, heavy duty old girl. I'd like to see if there's anything in that one right there, so I'm gonna have to get my pick and stick out. And I've got to, I, my ape thing came in, my ape man uh, camera. But man, I gotta get that thing going. This is ridiculous trying to manage all this. Oh, yeah, there's metal in there, boys. Look at that. See that? It just fell out. That is what Pokey does right there. Look at that. Pokey's kicking ass. Kicking ass and picking trash. 
That's what I love about my pokey. My pokey the biggest thing. That thing is full of metal, dude. I'm just gonna pull it out. Hold on. Alright, so I got it out of there. Some more of those in there. Looks like there's some other metal down there. Throw this back. Throw this back in. This is a yeller. Yeller. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, nice little haul of score of metal there. Get those loaded up too. So the funny thing is, is when I saw those two other pickers out and about, I could have easily have said, let's go to a different part of town. You know, just throw my hands up in the air, no, thinking that all this stuff's already been picked. And you know, hey, you don't know, man. I just got nice uh, brake pads and stuff like that out of the trash. So that's pretty good. This one has a metal dumpster, a metal scrap, so it won't have any metal in it, but we'll see what else it's got. Just a bunch of those big plastic containers. TP can. There's a bike tire. Some plastic shelving there. Uh, yeah, I'm sure all their metal is right there in that metal recycling bin, which I will not touch with a 10 foot pole. Oh, look at that, brothers. Ah, <laughs> Yahtzee. Yahtzee, Yahtzee, Yahtzee. Nice. Look at that, bad boy. Oh my gosh, it's got the removable container, some wind tunnel. Dude, I guarantee you there are $50 worth of parts on this thing. I am totally stoked. Look at that beauty. Look at that. It's even got the retractable cord on it. That's gonna be nice to part out. A little piece of metal something. medium leather jacket. I don't do clothes, but that's too bad. Let's go on to the other side. There's some more nice clothes there. Look at that. Yeah, it's still on the hanger. Arizona. Wow, that's just too bad. I don't do jackets and stuff like that. I guess I could now that I'm doing t-shirts, but I don't know. There's just something about grabbing trash, clothes out of the trash, and then I don't want to sell them online. People think I'm that guy. Check it out. It's a little guy. Another wind tunnel. Man, that's awesome. Got the charger with it. That could be worth something right there by itself. Awesome, man. A second vacuum cleaner. Sweet. What else we got here? That's a nice little shelf. Don't need a shelf, though. There's another little shelf there. Looks like it's all tin. It's plastic. It's cute though. There's a table of some sort. Oh, there's a Bissell vacuum cleaner box. <laughs> the only thing would be better would be as if it was full of an old vacuum. Nope, no, no dice. Do you see that? Holy cow, it's like 
bubble wrap central here. I'm gonna score me some of this bubble wrap and turn the camera off. You know? Okay, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that this is the path that leads to the dark side. No, to be, <laughs> this is the path that leads to Bed Bath & Beyond. So let's go check out their dumpster today. And there's a bunch of them back here to check out as well. Looks empty from here, but looks can be deceiving. shark. Busted up cabinet door. Nothing good today it doesn't look like. If you're wondering why I touch these things before I open them, not this time but I'm just showing you, it's because I get shocked every time. I get out of my car, I touch the plastic and I get shocked. And uh, so I'm just trying to make it quick and painless as so possible. This is our Michael's dumpster here, the big one that you can't get into. And they get this little one to the side, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's for plastic. Hard to say. Nice, nice shipping boxes there. Did we find any cookies? I don't think so. Wow, look at those little boxes. Could be some good shipping, uh, shipping boxes, man. I'll have to remember this place for later. So, uh, yeah, last night was auction night, and uh, I went there to get a couple of mystery boxes, and I made the mistake of just not being the big bidder and taking them. I let a guy outbid me at $6, and he, he buys nothing but furniture, so I thought, no problem, I know this guy. Sure enough, he took the box that I was looking at. So, I screwed up on that, and so I was just thinking about it. I'm like, you know what, I need to just put on my big boy pants at the next auction if there are some mystery boxes and do it and just get them and do it because it's fun to go through it's fun to make videos about them I hope you enjoy them too so anyway nothing from the auction last night so no mystery boxes this week
So yeah, Amazon's everywhere, isn't it? Hmm. These train pictures are kind of cute. Looks like they got some stuff poured on them though. Nothing this morning. Another Amazon box. It's like there's a metal hood there. Piece of metal right down there, but it would really be a bitch to get it out of this thing. So I'm gonna pass. At that last dumpster, uh, there was uh, some metal in it, but it was all tin. I saw some copper wire in there, but you know, it's just scrap vulture makes a really good argument about tin. You know, the amount of time it would have taken me to dig it out, put it in the back of my car, take it down to the scrap yard and get pennies for it you know it's just it it, it there have been other things in there that other would have more been enticing to dig into and, and pull them out as well i would have done it but you know the scrap vulture makes a really good case for it you waste your time there you waste 20 minutes there getting stuff out of the dumpster when you could be 20 minutes down the road hitting a huge score um so i kind of believe in that philosophy and uh so Moving on, we've crossed over the bridge. We were in Iowa, we are now in Illinois. We are, we are, we are, we are National Dumpster Diving Day. So, all right, let's keep going. There's the bottom of the chair. Well, here we go. There we go. There's a score. That's all metal. Very nice. Time to get the pick and stick. This is why I love this pick and stick. It's got good gripping, pulls the stuff right up. Oh, I can even throw it right in my van. <laughs> Sweet, huh? So, yeah, I got all that out of that dumpster right there. Nice little haul. There's all that bubble wrap I got from the other one, too. It's like somebody got a Friday deal. Bam. 
again. Deal with him in a second. What else we got down here? Baby stroller, car seat. Another one of those wind turbine deals. Another one of those. I send those down to my friend in, in uh, Arizona. There's a tow rope it looks like too. Or a strap anyway. Well. Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the day. Uh, quite a few dumpsters. Spent a lot of time out here today doing dumpster diving. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe. You know the routine. Um, give us a thumbs up. I'd love to get, get to 100 thumbs up on some of these videos. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for being part of the 200 subscribers plus now. Uh, just thank you so much for all the, the, the things that you do and uh, for being a part of this. Uh, so thanks so much and we will see you guys at the next dumpster. Peace out. Bye.